thank you very much hana uh, so so now we are continuing yesterday's discussion so yesterday we talked about how we can simulate jetscape framework for different uh, collision systems uh, and so uh, first i would like to address some questions that posted yesterday in the slack so many people are a few people asked uh, the reason that we use two energy loss modules inside uh, inside when we simulate heavy and collisions so the reason is that so in heavy and collisions uh, to get uh, more accurate comparison with experimental results we need to use multi stage evolution so in multi stage evolution uh, one can uh, use uh, different energy loss modules for different uh, virtuality regions uh, because of that we use uh, in this case we use two energy loss modules uh, separated by this virtuality separation scale q north uh, so that uh, it can accurately predict both the high virtuality and low virtuality regions so uh, this is the main reason for using two energy loss modules and you you will hear more about this in jet uh, jet uh, framework or jet energy loss uh, hands on session and jet energy loss lecture in uh, future sessions and one other thing was that uh, the slides uh, from these hands on session and so you can uh, download these slides from the timetable uh, in the jetscape summer school page uh, as you can see here uh, they are already posted and also the uh, zoom recording is posted here and you can also visit the youtube channel as well for the jetscape framework and today we have about uh, 50 minutes so in this 50 minutes uh, i will talk about how we can write a custom module so this is a very basic example so if you need to write a more a realistic uh, custom module for any uh, initial state uh, or the uh, jet energy loss maybe uh, hydro or any other uh, part of the heavy and heavy and collision uh, you may need to use uh, more different uh, like different ways uh, different uh, things that are described in uh, uh, jetscape uh, uh, manual you can download it and you can read there are, everything is explained in detail and you can use this uh, information to write a more uh, realistic uh, custom module but in this case Uh, i will explain how we can create a custom module and put it in the jetscape framework and uh, when we run we can see that this custom module is uh, used by the framework uh, in in its simulation so so in this case uh, i will talk about how to generate uh, how to create a jet energy loss custom module and uh, for that uh, there are two files uh, uh, included in uh, in summer school repository uh, you can uh, copy these two files into uh, into this folder jetscape src uh, jet and then uh, we can start uh, to see how these files looks like okay so let me so we can similarly as yesterday we can go to this uh, docker container and can you make the font bigger oh, yes sure. sorry thank you and 
then we we need to implement this uh, line so uh, copy this uh, there are two uh, files uh, named uh, my jl dot h and my jl dot cc we need to copy both of these files uh, to this uh, directory so let's do that cp summer school framework and to get scape Now we copied these two uh, these two files. So let's see what we can find inside those two files. So let's open the header file first. So inside this header file, uh, uh, we use this Jet Energylos module class, and we inherit from this class to develop this myj my header file. And here we define uh, init function, and for the execute function, we have do energylos function. Uh, this is where we implement all the physics inside and uh, there's a write class also implemented and also we need to include this line to register this class into uh, jetscape so now let's look at the uh, c file So inside this C file, uh, uh, these all uh, functions are defined. Uh, so these are the constructors and uh, this init function, uh, in the its init function, it initializes all the XML settings that we provide. Uh, so, so in this case, we don't have any XML settings because this is a very basic uh, custom module. So we have this uh, initialization uh, part defined like this. And uh, this is the right module and uh, right function. And when it comes to do energy loss function, this is where we need to implement all the physics that we need to include in this uh, energy loss module. And uh, so far here, we don't have any uh, physics to implement so we just provide this line to print uh, so that we can see it is recognized in the uh, framework when when we are running the simulation and uh, so now let's move on to the uh, modifying the xml file So, so far, if you have any question, please uh, let us know. So we talked about uh, this part, the header file. Uh, these are the functions uh, we implementing. So the, all the functions we need to implement in a custom module are described in the uh, Jetscape manual, you can look at that and you can always contact us if you have any question. And this, this register line is very important. We need to uh, use this line to register this class in Jetscape framework uh, so that it is it will be compiled with the uh, with the framework. Okay. 
So once we create these files, we need to uh, we need to again uh, see make and make to compile uh, the framework with these uh, new classes. So let's do that. For that we need to go. Okay, so now we need to do CMA. So in this case, make minus J, you need to uh, use the course, the number of course that you have uh, used in your Docker container. So in my case, I need to use three. So so now it recognized this uh, Jet and Angelos module, uh, Jet and Angelos class that we pull and it is building or it is uh, compiling with the framework as you can see here. In this case, it won't take much time because we already compiled the framework, but uh, if we start from the beginning, it can take uh, more time to compile. So now it is done. Now let's see how we can uh, modify the XML file. So in this case, uh, I will just modify the PP19 XML file uh, just to show uh, what happens, but uh, you can modify the XML file accordingly uh, for any other case as well. So we need to go to the config directory and we have this Jetscape user pp19xml file. So when we open that, so in this case, I will only use uh, one event because uh, if you use many events, you can see a lot of lines are printing with, the, uh, with that uh, output line that we put in our energy loss module. So we don't want uh, that much of lines. That's why I uh, restrict it to one event, but you can use any number of events. And uh, here in this case, we have uh, hadron, final state hadrons and partons defined. And in this case, uh, I'm using Petiagon. So in Petiagon, uh, we need to specify the center of mass energy uh, where our collision happens. So in this case, I use 200 GeV and the PT had been, and here I'm using minimum value for PT hat uh, is 25 and maximum value for 30. So in this case, it creates uh, an event inside Petia uh, at 200 GeV. And uh, after this, after the hard scattering, a, it uh, feed all these partons into uh, given energy loss modules uh, to uh, do the intermediate shower. Okay. So meta module, I, I didn't change anything. Uh, I just include this line to include this custom module. So for the name, you can use any name. Uh, uh, if you want, uh, to change this name, please do so. And it will show in the final desktop out. And for the hadronization, uh, we use the colorless hadronization similarly. And 
these are the only changes. So I will let you change this stuff. Uh, I will just stop for a couple of minutes. And in that time, you can, we can do a small poll to see uh, where everyone is. So if you have any question, please uh, put uh, the red cross mark. And if you are, if you are good with this stuff, then use just a uh, green tick mark. So, so far I have three green ticks. So, could I just move a few lines uh, above? Yes. Like this? Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. I just want to uh, see the values you have changed, the ECM okay. and all. So it doesn't matter, you can use any values, but uh, this, this might be the fastest. And uh, when we use like low value percent of mass energy, it will produce less lines, uh, less output lines that we put in our energy loss module. That's why I use 200. The most important part is this one. So uh, you need to change this part. Uh, rest is uh, rest is okay, but if you use like thousand events, it can take quite a bit of time to finish. Okay, so far we have like seven. Uh, please uh, provide this, uh, please uh, respond to this poll because it is important uh, that we move on. Uh, we can understand where everyone now. So we have one red cross, so please you can, uh, put your question on Slack or you can uh, directly message in Zoom. Or if you, feel, if you want to speak up, please feel free to speak up as well. Yeah, I guess we have reasonably enough uh, people got uh, this done. So let's move on. So now uh, we need to uh, run with this XML file. So to that we need to use uh, dot slash. Uh, 
Okay. So let's see what we can get. So as you can see, this line is printing from our energy loss. This is the only thing we implemented. So uh, in each instance, each time step, uh, framework recognized the uh, energy loss module and print this line. Uh, as you can see here, prints for quite a bit of time. And if you look here, so it found two energy loss modules, matter and our custom jet energy loss. As you can see in our init function, in our custom energy loss module, we use this output custom JEL initialized and it can be seen here. So if you implement any physics inside, then those physics is recognized uh, by the framework and it will be used to uh, use for the part on uh, evolution. Uh, similarly, you can uh, create any uh, module for any stage of the heavy, in the heavy and collision and you can use it in the framework. So uh, let's do one final poll let's, to see if, if you all got this part and if you have any questions. So if you're done with this part and if you have no question, please use the green tick. And if you have any questions or if you are still working on, please use a red cross. And if you have any question about uh, these things, uh, please uh, use Slack and uh, ask any question and you, you can get your answer very, answer as soon as possible when someone sees that. So now we have like uh, 17 uh, ticks and two crosses, so guess most people can uh, work with this part and uh, so so this is everything that i need to uh, talk in i need to discuss uh, in this session and before uh, finishing this uh, i need to uh, i need to say that in next sessions you, you will have more complicated stuff discussing uh, running hydro uh, running hydro with music and doing jet energy loss uh, creating uh, movies uh, from hydro and different stuff so for that initial preparation is required so you need to uh, compile your jetscape framework with music iss and other uh, external files so make sure you downloaded all these xm external files and then uh, uh, include these uh, external files in the jetscape framework by using by c making with this
And before finishing, if you have any question, uh, please speak up and uh, we can have uh, some discussion about that because we have about uh, 20 minutes uh, remaining in this session. Uh, I'm happy to answer any question if you have, even if it is not related to this part. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, so uh, thank Okay, so. Yeah, I think, um, thank you, Shatoranga. I think that seems like a good start for everybody um, who wants to try to implement an own module into the framework. And um, I mean, there, there are some technical questions going on on Slack that are being individually coped with so I guess for the others we'll take the break of half an hour then now or like we can stay in the session and if there are questions we can still discuss them um, but I think we shouldn't start with the lecture before 4 p.m well for me it's 4 p.m for whoever you probably are all in different time zones so um, yeah so we, we will not start earlier than scheduled because uh, I think people might rely on that schedule and people might just join for that lecture so I think it would be um, better to start on time, right? Yeah, so I think we'll probably have a short break. Yeah. Okay, so everyone feel free to enjoy your 30 minutes or to, to ask more questions if you want to. <laughs> 